Namaste and once again welcome back to my channel Organizopedia. A home should be more than just something pretty to look at. Our home should inspire us every day to live the life we dream of and aspire to. I read this beautiful quote a few days back on the internet and this is very much true as well. We all want our home to look clean and beautiful because our home inspires us in many ways. That's why it's important to invest in good quality cleaning products to keep a home clean and functional. But it's equally important to keep those cleaning tools clean so that they can perform their job well. In today's video, I'm going to share how you can keep your cleaning tools clean because cleaning with dirty tools is not only less effective but also makes your work much harder. So let's begin. Every day we all use mops to keep our home clean and tidy. The mops get most of the dirt and dust trapped in them. So keeping them clean is very important. First to clean the floor mop clothes, simply throw them in the washing machine and then use detergent, vinegar and fabric whitener. And make sure to use hot cycle to clean it nicely. It's not possible to clean them every day, so try to do it once every 15 days. For everyday cleaning, once mopping is done, just take clean water and clean them thoroughly and then make sure to sun dry them. Mostly these standing floor mops comes with detachable mop head. So remove them and throw them in the washing machine. If you use them frequently, then clean it every week. If you use it occasionally, then once a month is also okay. Use vinegar, detergent and fabric whitener and make sure to use a hot cycle for cleaning and then sun dry them. Nowadays, we all use microfiber cloths because of their unique quality of removing the dirt from the surface. So they need to be washed gently to keep them in good shape. For cleaning, soak them in hot water. Add one cup of vinegar and a tablespoon of mild detergent for half an hour. Repeat this every week or whenever the clothes are in bad shape. If clothes are very dirty, then you can also add Eno or baking soda. After half an hour, toss it in the washing machine or simply hand wash it with a brush to remove dirt from the cloth. Sun dry it and surely this will help to keep microfiber cloths soft always. To clean the sponge wipes, use hot water and mild detergent. Then soak it only just for 15 minutes, not more than that. Then clean it normally with water. Rinse well and allow to air dry. Then only store them back. I use sponge wipes to clean sink and wash basin. So it's important to disinfect it from time to time. Repeat this every week. In Indian households, we use two different types of brooms. First is this coconut or jute brooms. Typically, the lifespan of these brooms are very less. And as and when you use them, they keep shedding and become thin. So much so that that you have to replace them. But while you use it, make sure to keep your broom clean between uses by knocking off the dust. Take them outside and run the bristles over an edge of a step to whisk away the trap dirt. In comparison to the traditional brooms, plastic brooms are kind of one-time investment and they last very long. They won't shed and because of the flexibility, you don't need to bend while you're cleaning your home. As the blades are made of plastic, no dust comes out of the broom. Now to clean them, take hot water and add around 2 tablespoons of detergent. Swish the broom through the solution and then rinse with the cold water. Hang it outside and let the water drip to dry. Dust pan. Maybe this is something we don't even include in our cleaning tools. 
but it plays an important role in keeping our home clean. Where do you exactly hang or keep your dustpan? Just think how many germs and bacteria it can invite. So this is why it's important to clean them. Make sure to clean it every time when you use it to clean dirty balconies. For cleaning, use soap solution and then wash it. Hang it and allow it to air dry. Dish cleaning scrubbers need to be discarded if they are really in bad shape for maintaining a good hygiene near your sink. Now if these scrubbers are in good state, then take water in a bowl, add 1 tablespoon of vinegar and dish soap and then put the scrubber in it. Keep this bowl inside the microwave and microwave it for around 1 or 2 minutes. Let it completely cool down before you actually take the bowl out from the microwave. Now clean it nicely. Rinse it with normal tap water until it runs clear of any soapy residue. And your dish clean scrubber is all ready to clean your dishes again. Cleaning brushes can be of different size and shape, but all needs to be cleaned in the same way. If they are very dirty, just take hot water, add 2 caps of hydrogen peroxide and 1 tablespoon of detergent. Dip all the brushes for at least 15 to 20 minutes. Now, after 15-20 minutes, take them out one by one and the brush which is very dirty. For that, take an old comb, brush it like this so that anything which is trapped in between the bristles can be taken out easily. Then clean it normally with normal tap water, let them air dry, even the toilet brushes need to be cleaned in the same way. All the buckets, be it your mopping bucket or your spin mop bucket, both needs to be cleaned properly, as the layer of dust deposits and sometimes the plastic can also break. If the buckets are very dirty from inside, just fill hot water, detergent and hydrogen peroxide. Switch the solution around the interior of the bucket and now I am using the same solution in the spin mop bucket also. Use a scrubber to clean it from the inside. Now if the buckets are very dirty and you can see the layer of stone deposited inside, just take a drain cleaner. Empty the sachet and add water. Leave it for around 15 minutes and don't touch it. Dispose the solution responsibly, then take steel wool and make sure to wear gloves, then scrub it nicely. The layer of stone will be removed and the buckets will all be cleaned. Repeat this once a month or whenever you see your buckets are dirty. Washing machine too need proper care and cleaning to maintain its life. The detergent rack can be taken out by pushing this and pull the tray out. Clean it with vinegar and soda if the tray is very dirty, otherwise simply use soap solution. Now nicely clean the interior and exterior of the machine with a wet cloth. Always try to open this part to release the water and clean this part as well. Assemble all the parts back. Every month I like to use this descaling powder to maintain my machine. Just empty one sachet here and select the tub cleaning option. And the machine will select the maximum cycle for cleaning. Once descaling is done, Put some detergent and run one more time the smallest cycle for thorough cleaning. And now see how clean is this now. A vacuum cleaner also needs to be cleaned properly to maintain its life. Especially the floor brush. Because over time it traps so much of hair, threads, dust and dirt. Which eventually makes it less functional to pick dust from the floors. To clean vacuum cleaner's brush, simply open this part and now use a pair of scissors 
to cut the hair strands from the middle and then remove them like this. Once done, put it back. Now almost all the vacuum cleaners can be opened and the filters can also be cleaned with soap water. Just clean every part, let them air dry completely and then only assemble it back. Now comes the difficult thing to clean. As these brushes are mostly fixed to the handle, hence cleaning them becomes difficult. After every use, remove the loose dust. Take them outside and give it a nice shake for at least one minute. If you notice that the duster is not collecting the dust, then make a solution of water and detergent. Switch the duster through the mixture for several minutes. Rinse it with normal water until it runs clear of any soapy residue. Gently squeeze it with your hands to remove the extra water and hang it to drip dry. Once the feathers are completely dry, rotate the handle between your palm to restore its shape. I wanted to introduce a new product I have recently received from Akaro, which is Portable Spot Cleaner. If you have children, then there's always this possibility that sofa might get some stains and every time taking sofa cleaning services might be pricey. So this spot cleaner comes handy whenever you need to clean spot or deep clean your sofa. This is the water tank, fill water, add some detergent or you can also add your carpet or sofa cleaning formula in it. This part collects all the dirty water. You can wrap the wire here and this hose can rest on this side. These are the two important attachments. Now let's first talk about the deep stain cleaning tool. Switch on the machine and fix the attachment. Point this tool above the spot and press the spray trigger. The formula will be released. Now use this brush to clean the sofa. And see how effectively it's removing all the stains from here. Now once a while when you need to deep clean your sofa, simply use the standard tool. Use this machine and spray water. Nicely give your sofa a bed bath and eventually your sofa will all be clean. When you have the right tool, you can clean it like every 3 months to maintain your sofa. All the dirty water is collected here in this tank and see how much dirt this machine has taken out. First, when I received this machine, I thought I don't know how useful it will but after using it, I can say this is quite good and doing its job perfectly fine. If you want to purchase, the product link is given below in the description box. This is all for today's video and I really hope you are going to find this video useful. I'll see you next time with another exciting video. Till then enjoy, take care and bye-bye.